Okay, so like I promised before in my very first video that I would go over this home management binder. It took me a while to do to get to it. It's really, really thick. I mean, I've got lots of different sections in there because there are lots of different things I have to remember on a daily, if not weekly basis that I forget. So this is how it is. I've got to be quick because I'm learning YouTube and I know, you know, it takes forever to upload. So, all right. So this is, you know, I keep my pens and things like that. I have seen so many videos on people's like their filofaxes and things like that with the stickers and gosh, I drool over one, but I can't afford one. So, you know, I kind of did my own for what works for my family and that's what we do. So, be, I um, first I have a daily docket. This daily docket thing rocks my world. This one, I'm not too sure about, but the, whole, the, the thought of a daily docket really is awesome. Um, you know, tells me what I have to do today, you know, what we're having for dinner, what errands need to be run, um, what my work schedule is, I need to drink my water because I'm trying to watch my calories, you know, just things like that. However, I've also done one on my own because like I've explained, I'm broke, I make nine bucks an hour, we don't have a printer right now. So I have made my own and, and just go in, I write the date on it to do, like I keep them in the back Bye. and then you can see, you know, I've written, you know, things that had to be due, what we're having for dinner, you know, and I really love it because especially if I'm working, my husband and the kids can come in here and just open this and go, no ma'am, put it down please. Yeah. Anyway, they can go... Sorry, I had to discipline my el my oldest daughter who's in here. Anyway, so... Um, so I really love it. And they can come in here and go, Oh, I have to do this chore, this chore, this chore. My husband can look here. I know what my work schedule is. Alex knows the things like if he's got a meeting with his teacher because he's homeschooled. Um, so I really love it. Um, meal planning. I do a meal plan thing for the... For the day, I go through and I just zoomed in on accident. I'm sorry. Okay, I did a meal meal plan thing per day. Those are Christopher's fingers. This is last week's. So I have not updated this week yet. But, you know, we go in and I can say, okay, wonderful. It's Monday. Mac and cheese. You know, we're having mac and cheese. Great. Easy night. Everybody knows what to do. So, it's awesome. And I go over it with the family before we actually do it. Please stop. Um, I, this right now, we just went shopping, so my list is gone. But this is my shopping list area to write down things we need. Um, what is this one? This is calendar. Okay, so this is the King calendar. Um, I got this free in the mail from the Arbor Day Foundation. I'll take it. It has our name. It looks cute. It's in my binder. I just three-hole punched it. It rocks. Okay, that's awesome. I also want to print, I've seen so many awesome things on Pinterest right now that I want to print, um, you know, the months and then the week because I write down so many things, doctor's appointments, you know, I, I scribble notes everywhere in my house. It's ridiculous. So, I, you know, that way I can go, oh yeah, next Thursday, you know, Christopher has a doctor's appointment at 10 o'clock, so am I really going to send him on the bus to go to school from 8.30 to 10, or am I just going to take him to the doctor? You know, things like that. Um, so we, we decide, and we go from there. I really, really want one of those. I have to go through and print one. Um, I just ha I don't have a printer right now, so that's kind of etching out some things on me here. All right, this next one is 21 Week of Organizing Challenge. It's actually 21 by week organizing challenge. I get paid every two weeks and I'm going to start to fix my house the way I want it this year. Not expensive, not fancy, not anything like that, but I want to paint like I want to use, um, you know, paint my kitchen. I want to go dollar store organizing. So many videos on YouTube, you guys, about dollar store organizing and things like that. So I want just to be organized and look cute. Our house is small. There's a lot of people in it. And then I've just gone room by room, like living room, you know, kitchen, you know, oldest boy's room, which is Mark, uh, oh, master bedroom, outside. Like outside's a little bit different. This one's not, I'm not putting this in my 21 week challenge, but I am putting it down. And the reason is, is because the things I want to put outside are kind of expensive. And I actually, um... I actually, um, yeah, do, do things like I actually get, um, 
in my job, we get bonuses for sales. So, yeah, see, I'm using my phone, so I'm sure that's going to ding up on there. So, but I'm, so, basically, like, the kids want a stand-up pool. We're in Florida. It gets hot. I told them if I win one of the contest bonus things that they will get one. I usually win one once a year, um, you know, where I'll get a gift card in the mail. So, I'm not counting on it. It's not money that's counted on in our budget. That's going to be fun money for half of it, and the other half's going to get saved and put in savings. We really gonna get pool and trampoline. They want a trampoline. Yeah, Kira wants a trampoline, don't you? Yeah, so I can jump off the trampoline in the pool. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to happen. You'd probably drown. That would be great. Not kidding. I'm kidding, kidding, kidding. Okay, Alex is full. Again, he's homeschooled. He's got severe ADD. So I always write down what he has to do that day. He knows he can come in here and look. It's Monday. Um, I have a live lesson today. I have to go in, you know, in a little classroom setting with his teacher. He goes to Connections Academy. No, I do not get paid for saying he goes to Connections Academy. But it really is awesome. Um, and it's taken him out of the school setting where the ADD was really stressing him out. He was failing everything in second grade. He's now in fourth grade. He's been home all of third grade and, you know, this fourth grade year. And he's doing wonderful. So, you know, we just have organization for that. This next one is my work schedule because I do work from home. I take on a ton of extra hours to take care of these kids. So I, um, I write everything down. And then I, I put it in by, year, by month. And a lot of it is, is because we work from home, I never see my bosses. I never see any of that. Everything is virtual. And um, if, you, if you want to know what company I work for, it, it's a company that puts, puts you at a call center for different jobs. It's not a temp agency. You actually have a job. But they're, um, they're, they do, like, the call center work. So, you know, you call into, you know, your phone company or something, you're going to get somebody probably more than likely that works from this company. If you want that information, it's a total legit job. I will gladly, you know, just message me and I'll give it to you. But being that everything's virtual, like I said, you don't see your bosses. So if I call in sick one day, like I did on the 27th of December, um, you know, you have to call into an automated system and it gives you a confirmation number. Um, and that goes in, you know, it automatically is supposed to update your system, and it's supposed to whatever. So, I've, it, it's not done it before, but you just give your boss your confirmation number, you send them, a, shoot them a quick email, you know, they know you're gone, you know, you're being responsible, and, and it usually works. So, um, and that's just what I've worked, you know, like I took paid time off that day. Um, this was a holiday week, so it was a little weird, but yeah. That's kind of what I do for that. And then I file it under month. So just in case somebody comes back and says, oh, by the way, last June, you know, um, you did you do this, 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 or this? I can find it. You know, so that's why I do it like that. Um, my next one is family addresses. I suck. <laughs> this is totally not even done. Uh, but I want to put in addresses from, from my family. Um, I am not the family member that sends out cards or birthday wishes. I am stuck in social media. You know, a happy birthday on Facebook or a phone call or a text message. Hey, I'm good. But, you know, trying to teach my kids how to do it right. I really want to send, start sending out cards and things for birthdays. And nieces and nephews and stuff like that. So... That is trying to get back into more of the family unit. So that's what we're going to try to do this year. And I got to get that done. The next is my budget. Yay. See, my debit card's in here. It's upside down. <laughs> um, no cash in here because, again, we just went shopping. But basically, what this is, is we're doing the Dave Ramsey cash envelope system. We are on baby step one, which is saving $1,000 for emergency money as fast, fast, fast as possible. Um, it's going to take us a little while to do that. But I've decided to keep my debit card in my binder. You know, I take it out when I get paid. I go online. I pay my bills. Bam, it's back in. Well, and then I go to the bank, pull out the rest of the cash. Divide it up into my envelopes, which is, um, like I have a sinking fund for Christmas. I have an, um, my mortgage payment. I divvy it out between each paycheck. So, um, <clears throat> I do, excuse me, I do, um, you know, 
X amount of dollars my first check, X amount of dollars my second check, but on my second check I'll just go pay it. Um, so I have an envelope for that, um, you know, Christmas. We really love the 4th of July, so we have an envelope for the 4th of July. Um, barbecuing and stuff, like 4th of July to me is better than Christmas. So we have stuff for that. So that's kind of what um, we're working on. I will get into more depth on that. I'll show my envelopes once, you know, at one point. But that's what this is for. I have this as receipts. I'm starting to keep like my house payment receipts in here so I can't hear that you didn't pay me last June. I don't know what's up with me last June, but um, so I can go back and say, well, I have a receipt dated June, blah, 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 or May 28th or something, and it was paid. So, you know, here you go. So I have, I'm keeping this in here. What I'm doing with these actually, though, if you can see, again, I've got the month by month going on. Once January's over, because I've got it on January right now. January's actually behind me. So once January's over, I'm gonna, like, right now, I should say my bills are in here. Yes, it's tax time. Somehow, i got to get a hold of the IRS. They say I owe money. Um, we'll see. I'm gonna have to call them and check on that and see what that is. Um... And there's three letters in here of that, so that's kind of craziness. Um, and they're different. And they have been closed. I haven't been able to get a hold of anybody over there. And then, then I've got, like, my electric bills, my, you know, my internet bills, my utility bills and stuff. But I have that under January. So once January's done and these bills are paid, I'm going to, like, three-hole punch them. And I'm going to put them under the month. Like that was my electric bill for December. I put the confirmation number on it. Boom. I got it. So again, they can't say you didn't get a payment. Or if they say that, because I do billing, you know, I can go back and go, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I paid on this day and this day. And these are my confirmation numbers. Where, where am I behind? So I've got that. This is my extra do something with envelope. You know, keep and store. So I'm moving that month to month because things change. Like I got a refund from my insurance, um, my coupons for like if we go out. We don't go out very often. Going out is something crazy, and I don't like to go out to fast food without a coupon. So we have those. Um, I need some tools for some of the things I want to do. We got these coupons good through February on here, um, in here from Harbor Freight. So I'm kind of keeping a hold of those. Um, Chinese food restaurants showed up here, so I, I put it in here. Um, just things like that. It's just my stuff. But as I, I'm just going to move it with me month to month. It's there, you know. Okay, so that's those. And pretty much that is it. You know, and then I'm, I'm, I'm just stashing my um, extra additional things back here, but I already showed you those. This right here is nothing. This is, um, that shouldn't even be in there. This is my, this is my budget type thing. Um, this is my budget that I have going on. I want to transfer it onto better paper, but I have it so detailed out on here that it's kind of nuts. So I wanted to keep it, girlfriend, move. And then I did the same. I helped my son with his budget too, and I, I totally messed up his dates when I started doing it for him. So I had to redo it because he's dyslexic and I didn't want to. This is the son that doesn't live with me. And I didn't want to mess him up at all because he would have gotten confused. So what I did is I did it, then I rewrote it. I kept the one I messed up on dates because if he ever says, Mom, what do I do here and here? I have this and I need to do this. I can just go to a date and keep it. No, it's not a control thing, but him and I are close. So I just wanted to, but he doesn't live close. He lives about an hour and a half away. So I just wanted to be able to... Um, to get a hold of him and, um, you know, we could work on it together without me going, okay, what did I say here? So, anyway, that's our family management binder. I hope, you know, it, hel it helps you. It really, really helps me. I want to do a little more cutesy things in there with, like, stickers and things like that and, and you know, different. I want to get some more of the, you know, where I have my bills in, those, those plastic things. Um, but for right now, it works. It's doing what we do. Um, all right. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like it, please click, you know, give us a thumbs up. 
subscribe. Subscribe. My kids really comment. want some subscribers. There's only three. Comment. comment. Tell me if you have ideas like. for other spots. Like the video. S favorite. And favorite. Okay, say it, Christopher. Come on, come over here. Favorite. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go ahead. Like, say it. favorite, subscribe, share. Like, favorite, su subscribe, and share. Yeah. And comment. And comment. All right. Peace out, everybody from YouTube. Bye.